continues this morning with a stop in Rochester. Oakland University, which is mostly a commuter college, still has about 16% of its student population living on campus. So the university is taking steps to make sure that those students feel safe, as well as all the others coming in from nearby counties and communities. Let's get to Nick Monticelli with a look at what you can expect at OU. The campus at Oakland University is rarely this calm, at least outside. This has been an insanely <laughs> heavy lift. Inside, there's a lot happening, prepping for the fall semester. Some classes will be online, some will be hybrid, some will be completely face to face. But here's what students will notice first off, class sizes. For example, this room used to hold at least 65 people. Now, I think there are 17, including the instructor. Michelle Piskalich works in academic affairs. Her team has been determining how classrooms will be set up, like this lecture hall, which would normally hold more than 100 students. Instead, the Grizzly had show where students can be. There's only 19. Before coming to class, students and staff have to fill out health screenings every day and masks will be required. We will be very vigilant, particularly the first couple of weeks, watching, um, you know, we've seen what's happened in bars and, and, and restaurants. In large gathering spaces like the Student Center, gatherings are still welcomed, but spaced apart. In fact, furniture has been removed in gathering and dining areas to allow for social distancing. Chris Reed runs the Oakland Center and is anxious to see if students will follow the rules. How the students really interact with each other and with the space. Are they going to keep the physical distancing? Are they going to follow the required face mask protocols? The Founders Ballroom here on campus is probably the largest indoor gathering space that they could put together. Capacity is maybe nine or 950 people, but with social distancing, that turns into 101 chairs. Maybe a lecture class could come in here. However, you put in some desks or tables for students and you run out of even more space. In residence halls, deep cleanings are underway using new machines to kill and prevent the coronavirus from spreading. And each room is thoroughly cleaned before students can move in, which there are still plenty. Admissions have only dropped one to 4%. Students want that college experience. You know, it's something that they've craved since high school. And so, you know, Nick, they want that experience, that interaction that happens in the classroom, outside the classroom, student organizations, sporting events, the cafeteria experience. They want the whole package. And we get it. We understand that entire package. Now, for full disclosure, I'm actually a teacher at Oakland University teaching a digital media class next semester. And even we're having a hard time figuring out how we're going to get students inside of a computer lab that would normally hold probably 15 or 20. I think we're down to three or four. So Rhonda, it is a very complicated jigsaw puzzle to put together on how this can all work. I know all universities are trying, but there's certainly going to be some bumps in the road as we try to get all these students back in their classrooms and try to give them the experience they want. It's just a matter of what's going to work best for everybody. Oh, it's uh, something I know that these universities have been working very hard on and they want to get it right. Nick, yeah. thank you.